Hi everyone. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to cover General Zod. General Zod made his first appearance in Adventure Comics Volume 1, issue number 283 in April of 1961. But his current version debuted in Action Comics Volume 2, issue number 13 in December of 2012. His real name is Drew Zod, and he stands 6 feet 3 inches tall and weighs 215 pounds, having blue eyes and black hair. Now, like all Kryptonians under a yellow sun, General Zod possesses high-level superhuman strength. He also has speed and endurance that are sufficient to stand against Superman and other Kryptonians. He has superhuman hearing, x-ray vision, telescopic vision, microscopic vision, and heat vision. He also has super breath and freeze breath, virtual invulnerability, accelerated healing, and the ability to fly. Now, due to his background as a Kryptonian general, Zod possesses a detailed knowledge of military tactics, battle strategy, and is relatively competent as a military leader. Because he was trained in fighting arts long before receiving his abilities, he typically has an edge over Superman's brawling skills. You see, Superman tends to have an over-reliance on superhuman strength, and he only has a basic knowledge of advanced human and Kryptonian hand-to-hand -hand combat. Despite the advantages that Zod has, his main weaknesses is that he's shown to be arrogant and he overestimates his own abilities. Not only does he underestimate Superman and Superman's allies, but he also lacks the ability to acknowledge his own mistakes due to his megalomania. For instance, when Zod originally escaped the Phantom Zone in the post-crisis continuity, he proclaimed that he could have saved Krypton if his plan to kill the Council had succeeded. But Superman's rational argument was that no one on Krypton would have followed him, also drawing attention to Zod's inability to explain exactly what he would have done to avert Krypton's destruction. Zod had no response to this and only began to reiterate his belief in his own success rather than provide any kind of counter to Superman's claims. In addition, Zod's powers are often somewhat inferior to that of Superman. Due to Superman being exposed to the yellow sun over the course of his entire life, while Zod typically only gets exposed for a short period of time before being defeated and then returned to the Phantom Zone. This greater power, combined with his superior control and experience with it, gives Superman a slight edge over Zod's superior fighting skills. Additionally, similar to Superman, his strength is inferior to the likes of Doomsday, and his speed is slightly inferior to speedsters such as the Flash. And like all Kryptonians, he's also vulnerable to kryptonite and red solar radiation. His durability does not provide protection from mind control and magic as well, and his strength and durability both have limits, and that he can't survive an atomic explosion without nearly fatal injuries, and there are weights that he cannot lift due to natural bodily limitations, even under the empowering of a yellow sun. Now, General Zod is a self-made man who remorselessly clawed his way to the top of Krypton's military. His dream was to add fresh triumphs to his planet's glorious records of ancient conquest. He was a man born out of time and had to make his own opportunities when a modern pacifistic civilization provided none. And ironically, some of his ideals proved that he was right when Krypton died and he lived on. Born as Drew Zod, he was the child of emotionally distant parents who cared more for biological experiments than their son and thought nothing of taking him into Krypton's most remote and untamed regions. When they were attacked by quickly spreading monsters, his mother died instantly, and the boy, without any qualm or hesitation, injured his father and threw him to the creatures to facilitate his own escape. He survived for a complete year until he was rescued by Jor-El and his brother Zor. After years in the military academy, Zod won early fame when he and cadet Laura Lorvan put down a military coup by their superior, Colonel Eckhar. Zod executed the traitor himself, and despite his successes, the then Colonel Zod was discontent with modern society. Determined to reverse what he saw as Krypton slide into pacifistic decadence, he faked evidence to incite a war with the neighboring Shar, riding a wave of patriotic militarism which saw him promoted to general. But his genocidal triumph ended when Jor-El uncovered his fraud and denounced him to the Science Council. Imprisoned in the Phantom Zone for decades, Zod's hatred festered until he and his fanatical subordinates, Feora and Nan, found the means to escape and seek their revenge. Now, due to Zod's powers and abilities and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give him a rating of 8, which is a nostalgic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.